Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to record music from Spotify on your Mac. First of all you'll need two applications. First one you'll need is a program called Audacity, which um, is an audio editor and you'll also need this other application called Soundflower which enables you to record the audio from your Mac. So first of all, I'll show you how to get there. You want to download Audacity. Here you just click here and download it. And also you will need to download <laughs> called Soundflower from here. So the links are in the description, but that's what you need to do. To use, you need to download Audacity and Soundflower. So first of all, when you've got these, when you've got these two applications downloaded, what I want you to do is, I want you to open up. First of all, Soundflower. Then I want you to click the Soundflower icon, the top here. And then click audio setup which then brings up the audio MIDI setup on your computer if it's not showing then you just go click window and then show audio window so then there it's shown there so then what I want you to do is where it says soundflower to channel I want you to right click it or control click just depends if you're using a magic mouse or not and then tick use this device for sound output then you just click there and then what that'll do is that'll, that'll, that'll enable that'll mute the sound that's coming out of your speakers on your Mac and then you'll be able to record your music so first of all then so just minimize that just now then open up Audacity and it looks like this and just make sure that you've got selected where the microphone icon is there, Soundflower 2H, two stereo input channels, so then it's stereo sound that you're getting. Then what I want you to do is go into Spotify and just basically type in the name of the artist, the track that you want to record. So for example, I'll just do Green Day and I'll just start recording basket case so you click there then what I want you to do is start recording on Audacity then go back to Spotify and then what you'll notice is if you go back if you minimize Spotify and oh, go into Audacity you'll see that it's recording the sound um, you can also do this with with YouTube as well, you don't have to just use Spotify. You can use other applications as well to do this, but but I just but Spotify is the best one to use in YouTube. So we'll get back to you once so once your recording's recorded. I'll then show you what to do next. So then when it's coming to the end of the track, you then stop it in Spotify, and then you would open up, up Audacity again and then stop the recording. So then what you would do now is to hear the track through the speakers is open up audio MIDI setup and then where it says built in input and output excuse me right click it and then select use this device for sound output so then once that's checked then the audio will play from your speakers your internal Mac speakers then what you can do is I've just got to, to edit it I've got some music here there's no, there's no sound here, so then what I'll do is I'll just highlight it, press the back key, and then you want to go press skip to start because you may have a bit there where there's no sound, so you just want to cut that, delete it. Because what you want to do now is go into your desktop and just. I mean, you don't have to put it on your desktop, but I just do it anyway. 
make a new folder and just call it music. Okay, right. So then once you've done that, go on, go in, go back into Audacity with your track that you've just made, then click export. Then save as type in the name of the song and the artist. So mine's is Green Day Basket Case. And then you would just basically put it in the file that you've created on your desktop, just like I've done here, so it then goes into music. And then I put into MP3. You can use other formats, but for iTunes, really MP3 is the only one that's supported. So I just select MP3, then you click Save. And then you'll be able to type in the artist's name. So what you would do is just type in the name of the artist. Then the track title. Also, I should mention is when you want to record, when you want to export an MP3, you've got to install this other plugin. But the links are in the description with the instructions to do it, which is really simple. You just need to install this file, and then it goes into Audacity automatically, and then you're able to do it. So, but the links are in the description, and the website has the instructions. So everything will be in the the description on how to do it. So then you. Click OK, and then it's, export, it's exporting the entire file, which usually just takes a couple of seconds. Also, um, the sound's really good, it produces really good quality sound, because I've got an iMac and the sound quality is really great, so I don't know about the MacBook Pro or anything else like that, I'm not sure, it would just all depend on how your speakers are, but as I say, when once it's exported and everything, the sound's really great. Okay, so once you've done that, you can just close it. You can actually just come out of Audacity now because you don't need to. Then just for save the changes, just click no because you've already exported the file. So you don't need to do that. So then just quit Audacity. And then go into iTunes if you wanted to. And then go into music bit. And then where it says then go into file, add to library. And then I'm just going to as you can see it's here, Green Day Basket Case, just click open and then it should be in my library, my iTunes library, it is there. Record from, record the computer audio on your Mac. Um, as I say it's a really good way to, to record music and also it doesn't cost you anything either which is a plus. Um, but as I say it produces really good quality sound, I'm not sure about like the MacBook Pro or the MacBook Air, it just depends on how good your speakers are. But from an iMac point of view, the sound where well, you have really good speakers on the iMac, the sound quality is really great. Um, so that's about it. It's really quite simple to do. So thanks again for watching, and please rate, comment, and sub subscribe. Okay, bye.